Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at a Power BI service feature that allows you to add comments to your reports and specific visuals within each of your report pages. Okay, so let's get started. So to open the comments panel, you click on this button at the top here. It looks like a little call out and that opens up this panel here. Now each page in a report has got its own comments panel. Okay, so if you, if you navigate to another page, I'll just do that just now, we can see that the comments have gone for this page and this page will have its own set of comments should they be added in here. So we'll go back here. Now if you're interested in understanding how I created this this pop-up panel, I'll leave a link below. I've created a video on that. Um, so each page has got its own comments. Now to add a comment, then you just type it in the box at the top here. It's dead straightforward actually. Now I'm going to add a comment and I'm going to be commenting on the plan to get the safety critical backlog and the environmental critical backlog down to a reasonable level. So say I want to get that down to under 10. Okay, so I'm a manager. So I'm going to add in a comment here. Okay, so I've put a comment in here. Now I want that comment to actually be directed towards somebody. So to do that, what you do is add a at sign. And then you start typing. Now within your organization, I've only got myself set up within them, um, within my effective dashboards.com domain type thing, whatever whatever office is set up as. Now your organization will have lots of names in here that are available. So this will be available for you to actually embed in here. And this is going to send an email to Jason Davidson or whoever's name it is in here so they can see that they've been directly mentioned in a comment that's related to a dashboard. And that's going to be that's going to have an email sent to their email account, this email address here that's associated with this name. So let me just post that. And we can see it's now available here and an email has been sent to myself, Jason Davidson, okay? Okay, so I'm across in my email here and we can see that I've got an email, it's at the top of the page here. Uh, Jason Davidson mentioned you in a comment and this is the actual information that you get. So the first thing is you get a link, you get the actual comment itself and you get a link through to the report. And I think both of these take you to the same de destination. So if I open up this, and the comments are not actually opened. Okay, so that means you need to go in and click this comment button here, and here's your comment here. Okay, so it would probably be much better if you actually, um, if it actually showed the comments panel open, just so that you know you've got to click on this panel here, but there it is here, and, um, and then you've got an opportunity to reply to that. So I'm gonna to reply to this. Okay, so I've added in a, a comment here. Um, I've created a battle of reduction plan, added it to the battle of reduction folder in Teams. Now I've pasted a link here and it looks like this is a hyperlink. However, when you post it, it gets rid of the hyperlink. So that's one issue with this at the moment is that you can't link uh, or embed hyperlinks into the comments, which would have been really handy. Now, whether this will be something that will be added in the future, we will wait and see. So that's a reply there. So that's the first one. You can add a comment related to the, to the report itself. Now the second one, is if we want to go and add something to a specific visual. So if I go into this environmental critical backlog here, and we've got a comment to add, or an option to add a comment here. Okay, now it's gonna put this into focus mode, and now what we're doing here is we're adding a comment to this specific visual here. Okay, now it will show up in the report page as well, but it's, to, it's related to this specific visual. Okay, so here is a comment that's been added specific, specifically to this visual. So let's go back to all comments. And we can see that that's been added in here as well. So you can see both of these, the report specific, or the report, the general report comment, and this comment here. Now, what we also have is this button here. So you can see that all of the comments have been grouped together. So you can see these, this conversations have been grouped. These are ones I've created before. And at the top of each conversation, we've got this apply bookmark. Now, the reason for this is what that will do is it will apply the bookmark that was, or the filters that were um, selected when this comment was added, okay? So let's go and use another example here where I might want to click on all of the priority ones. 
and anything that is more than 10 days old. Um, I'm sorry, anything that is greater than 100. Okay, so I might want to go and look at this here and say, okay, these are the the priority one work orders that are greater than 50 days old. Okay, anything greater than 100, 50 to 100 and 100 are greater. And I might want to also put on the safety critical. Okay, so this is really not the right down to these two safety critical work orders I'm interested in. Now, then I can go in here and add a comment in here. Okay, so this... Um, Please feel expected date that these work orders will be completed by these. Oh, well, they are. I don't know if you can actually go back and edit a comment. You can delete a comment for sure by clicking this button here. But these are high priority work orders that have been in Batlock for more than 50 days. So what we can do is if we come in, we can see that this here is selected. Now, let's just imagine we've come into this comment here. I'm going to reset it to the default. Okay, so we've opened this, this here. And we want to see the context that this comment was made. So let's click on here. And we can see it's applied all of these filters here, so we know exactly the specific context to this comment here, which is great. Okay, and then we can go and look at each one of these. So this one here was where we had this particular comment was applied directly to this visual here. And we can see the bookmark has entered, enter, has basically applied the focus mode onto this visualization, so you can see exactly what it is. And you can go through each one of these. Now, if you want to just cycle through these, you can use these previous and next buttons at the top here. Okay, that's just going to cycle through the different comments. So that is how you can add comments to the report or to a specific visualization within the report and also how you can use this bookmark here to understand what the context of the comment was. So another use case for using comments is to request updates to the actual features within the report itself. Okay, so you might want to um, request that additional figures are shown in the reports, change some of the visualizations, or there might be some issues or some errors with some of the data that you don't agree with that you might want to communicate back to the person that's actually created this report. Now it would be somebody in IT or it could also be somebody within your department that's a Power BI super user. So to do that, same sort of idea, but what I would suggest is a bit of good practice is to prefix it with um, a report update request. So some sort of title there that actually lets somebody who's looking at this understand, okay, this is actually not related to the data itself, it's related to the, 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 the format of the report and any and updates to that format. So then, again, you can use that call out to whoever it is that's responsible for this. Now, at the top of the, the page here, you've got a contact here, so you can actually see who it would be that would be responsible for this report if that's been completed properly. And once that's done, they can actually make the changes and then verify these. So it can be used during a little bit of development, a little bit of testing, a little bit of modifications to the reports to provide feedback and to provide confirmation of any changes that have been made. Okay, so that's just another way that you can use the comments. So hopefully you found this useful. It's um, a piece of functionality that's already there. And um, sometimes you might not have noticed it at the top here and you might not have maybe understood how it actually works. But pretty powerful, really handy bit of functionality and um, hopefully you can find it useful. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.